ladies and gents. All right, time for a little history lesson. Who remembers the Marx Brothers? Dolphins fans, the Marx Brothers. So we got the Allen Brothers now. I don't know if we can create that nickname. I'm liking that. Allen Robinson and Allen Hearns, ladies and gents, two of the most exciting receivers in the NFL. It's understandable that an audience across the pond may not know who Allen Robinson and Allen Hearns are. You got three more. And in the States, these wide receivers are only a household name in Jacksonville. Diving attempt by Allen Robinson. He is an absolute monster. In 2014, Robinson was drafted out of Penn State in the second round. Ten wide receivers, including Sammy Watkins and Odell Beckham Jr., were chosen before him. In 2015, no one in the NFL had more touchdown receptions than Robinson. Oh my, Allen Robinson just dominates the ball. We came in at the same time with each other, so you could go through different struggles and you got to overcome things. We was forced to have to grow up real fast, you know, and that's part of our story. Hearn's story began at the University of Miami, home to former first round draft picks Michael Irvin, Andre Johnson, and Reggie Wayne, none of whom had more receiving yards in a single season at Miami than Alan Hearns. Yet he disappeared from draft boards. It was frustrating, real frustrating. Growing up as a child playing football, you want to hear your name called on draft day. The thing you love about Alan Hearns is he's no silver spoon guy. This was a free agent running out of the slot. He was able to fight his way onto this roster and prove himself as a football player. Good job! Good job, Hearns! You got some pretty good looking yeah. players. It's Hearns? Like, where did he come from? I know. Damn! I know. No matter what I accomplish, no matter how much money I make and things like that, that's something I'll be able to never experience. I got a little juice, man. <laughs> We always feel ourselves, you know, as being the underdog. Playing in Jacksonville, by us having such a young group and things like that, we all feel like we don't get the respect, you know, that we've kind of grown to, to deserve. More Jacks. <laughs> you feel me? As different as their paths were to the NFL, the Allens have more in common than just their talent. So we found this out our rookie year when we was getting our passport. Of course, our first name is Allen. The lady at the, uh, at the post office, she was like, uh, Allen Bernard, and then, like, we both kind of, like, walked up there, and then, of course, I thought he was playing. So we put out our idea at the same time, and we both realized our middle name was Bernard, so that was crazy. These two may be underdogs, but they outperformed the top dogs. Last season, Super Bowl champions Emmanuel Sanders and Demarius Thomas combined for 12 touchdowns. The Allens doubled that. That's going to be caught for the touchdown, Allen. Got away from a defender. And a great job by Alan Hearns. I play fantasy football. You know, you start to see their numbers and their points, and they're on the opposing team or they're on somebody's bench. The world kind of got introduced to them really quickly. Alan Robinson can go up and get it, folks. There's only one that can elevate like that. 15, 15. Oh, Great catch by Allen Robinson. I love Allen Hearns. I want more of them. I want more guys like him. What a combination with Allen Robinson and Allen Hearns. Jacksonville hasn't seen a dynamic duo like the Allens since the late 1990s and early 2000s. Jimmy Smith and Keenan McCardell, also known as Thunder and Lightning, were one of the NFL's best wide receiver combinations of all time. Together, they scored 97 touchdowns. Looking for Jimmy Smith, who's beaten the coverage. Touchdown! The Allens don't have a flashy nickname yet, but entering the 2016 season, they already had combined for 32 touchdowns. It's not even about, you know, wanting to be the best tandem, but it's wanting to be the best in the league. Early and often. That's how you already know, man. It'll always be nice, first and foremost, to win a Super Bowl. My goodness, can he go up and get it? Their drive and love for football and their willingness to come to work 
and do the things that you know you really don't see out of guys in their first and second year that they both picked up. We got Pepper Will. It's kind of hard to put in words. They just kind of flow together. It's a mesh. It's a marriage. It's a it's a belief. It's a brotherhood. Their bond is really a neat thing for me as long as I've been around to see two guys who can share what they share. We want what's best for each other. How's my, how's my rock? Okay. We're always there for each other, and we always going to be that because it, it's bigger than ball for us. You know, I see him as a brother. So no matter what it is, you know, I'm always going to tell him for what it is. At some point in time, football is going to be over. It's the bonds, it's the relationship, the feeling that, that you take from the game. That's the future. Blake Bortles to Allen Robinson, and then Blake Bortles to Allen Hearns. That is the future. <laughs>